Welcome to Elam Sloan Tamil's Brief History Part 2. This is a continuation of Elam Sloan Tamil's Brief History Part 1. This Part 2 documentary covers Elam Tamil's heartbreaking history and the European colonialist from 1619 to 1948 and colossal sufferings under the majority singlist rule from 1948 to 1972 before Tamils forced to launch armed struggle to win back their home land freedom and dignity. Ilum Tamils under Portuguese, 1619 to 1658. After capturing Jaffna Kingdom, Portuguese established control of the coastal regions of Tamilulam and Singhalese regions. The inner rural parts of this Ulam island were not under Portuguese rule. The colonialist was only interested in establishing trade doors to Europe from Asia and spreading the Roman Catholic religion. The Portuguese boasted that the whole Jaffna area was practicing their Roman Catholic religion under their rule. Obviously, they destroyed Saiva temples and banned Tamil's religious practice. However, Tamils secretly practiced their Saiva beliefs. Portuguese ignored the livelihood of the people. Tamils' economic activities were ignored and the people plunged into poverty. Colonialists were only interested in building forts and churches. You can see the Jaffna fort which was originally designed and built by the Portuguese and also the ruined church. Portuguese atrocities were short-lived up to 1658 till the Portuguese empire collapsed. The Dutch replaced the Portuguese. Ulam Tamils and the Dutch, 1658-1796. The Dutch replaced the Portuguese in 1658 and ruled Jaffna more than 100 years. Their same colonial master as Portuguese, despite Dutch were more liberals to religious beliefs. As you can see, they control the coastal regions of Tamilulam and south of the island. The inner and rural areas of the island were not controlled by the Dutch. Who are the Dutch? Basically, the people live in low sea level wetland areas of Atlantic coast in Europe. These areas are called as Netherlands or Holland. In contrast, they are called Dutch as the language they speak. By following Portuguese, Dutch began to establish colonial empire. Subsequently, Dutch established connection with Asian countries. Once Portuguese empire collapsed, Dutch seized the opportunity to control over the realm, the highlighted areas in blue, which was controlled previously by the Portuguese. During Dutch rule, realm Tamils were neglected and lived under poverty and undergone starvation. They only built forts to secure their safety and trade routes. Furthermore, the Dutch established slavery trade by 
establishing slave island in Colombo, in the south of the island, where they, they trade humans using Colombo as a strategic port. There was no evidence that island Tamils were used as slaves by, by the Dutch. Africans were brought as slaves to the island and trade to Europe and America. Ulam Tamils under British rule, 1796 to 1948. When Netherlands came under French control, the British began to move into Sloan in 1796. The war with France revealed Sloan's strategic value after winning the war with French. British controlled the island by defeating Pandaravanian, the regional king, who ruled Vanni region in 1803. In 1815, similarly, they defeated the Kandy kingdom region was brought under British rule. In 1833, British took steps to adopt unitary administrative and judicial system in Sloan. British committed political blunder by merging England Tamil region and Singhalese region under colonial Sloan unitary government. In 1827 to 1850, British recruited, recruited poor Tamils in Tamil Nadu regions, mainly Ramanadu from Anjavur and Madurai. At the time, Tamil Nadu was under British control, brought poor Tamils as cheap laborers to work in tea, rubber, and coffee plantation in hill regions. They were treated like near slaves as coolies cheap labor. British settled few hundred thousand Tamils in our country of this island. Camps like workhouse in England. They were called as Indian Tamils as British planned to divide and rule to distinct from England Tamils. In time memorial, Tamils moved freely from Tamil Nadu to Ulam, and Ulam Tamils also moved to Tamil Nadu as Tamil people are one and together without any difference. In, bit, in between 1796 and 1948, Ceylon was a British crown colony, although the British monarch was the head of state in practice, her functions were exercised in the colony by the colonial governor, who acted on instruction from the British government in London. British were slightly better than Dutch colonialists. They built infrastructure and the educational institution, especially in Tamils areas. As a result, Tamils had a chance for education and become the English speaking, better westernized administrators for the colonial master. Under British rule, Ceylon economy was booming with tea, rubber, and coffee exports. British eradicated poverty and starvation among Tamils. British missionaries built schools and colleges, but upcountry Tamils were treated as nearly slaves, as cheap coolies. They lived in poor condition and 
living condition as poor. In 1919, Sloan National Congress was formed by both Tamils and Sinhalese, and Ponambalam Arnachalam became founding president in 1920 as a British civil servant. In 1944, Gidi Ponambalam, a famous lawyer, broke away from CNC, that is Ceylon National Congress, and formed all Ceylon Tamil Congress Party and advocating Tamil nationalism. In 1931, Tamil population was 45% of the whole island population, including the upcountry Tamils. In 1944, G.D. Ponambalam broke away from Sloan National Congress and formed All Sloan Tamil Congress and demanded 50 50 representation. He submitted his proposal to Salisbury Commission, which was formed in 1944 to amend a draft independent constitution. His proposal was rejected and D.D. was discredited. Tamil's leaders were short sighted and failed to demand Tamil Ilam or federal solution from the British. Second World War broke the backbone of British Empire. The British Empire was badly hit by Germany. As, as a result, British began to lose colonial power. They handed over political independence to India. As they lost control of India, Sloan was no use for the British colonial master. In 1948, British gave independence to Ceylon after given independence to India, which is union of states, including Tamil Nadu, India and Hinduism are the names used by colonial British master. Practicing utilitarian fairness principle, British handed over the power to the majority Sinhalese without minority safeguard by knowing that the Tamils will be discriminated in future. Tamils politicians failed to win over the argument for federalist solution for ethnically divided islands. Unfortunately, Colombo based unitary government was formed in the island with the majority Sinhalese became the new rulers to Ilam Tamils. Ilam Tamils under majority Sinhalese rule from 1948 till now. British handed over political power to majority Sinhalese without minority safeguard in 1948. The westernized so-called educated Tamils leaders totally failed and let down the Tamils by failing to establish Tamililam or federal solution before British depart the island. Singhalese began to establish power to control all islands including Tamil Ilam. The Buddhist fanatics influenced Singhalese politicians to establish Singhalese Buddhist state. The rise of singular nationalism triggered bitterness among Tamils. Failed Tamils finally sought for federal government set up with the Tamil Ilam and Singhalese region within the unitary government. After independence from British, Singhalese government passed the Ceylon Citizenship Act of 1948 and then 
the Indian and Pakistani Residence Act of 1949 to make the upcountry Tamils as stateless. The upcountry Tamils who brought up by the British 200 years ago became stateless. By doing so, the singular chauvinist gained to reduce Tamils' votes to make Tamils as ethnically weaker minority in the island. The powerless Indian Union government failed to defend the Tamil people and went to compromise with the Sinhalese. In fact, the whole island was once Tamil's homeland before Sinhalese arrived in the island. Please refer part one documentary. Singles began to colonize Tamil's land. Singles brought Singla as official language. Tamils protested through peaceful means against colonization and the language issue. Singles government triggered state-sponsored basic violence with the support of armed forces. Hundreds of Tamils killed and in subsequent racial riots. 1956 and 1958. Sinhalese majority government changed Sinhala Act and accepted Tamil and English as official languages in the island. At the time, Tamil Nadu state was ruled by immature British who had little knowledge of Tamils and Ulam. There was no help to protect Tamils in the island. English pushed against positive discrimination. In this sense, Tamils were made as second class citizens by denying high education, employment, other economic opportunities. In 1972, Singles voted to declare as Republic and end ties with the United Kingdom. They also changed the whole island name as they call it Sri Lanka by portraying the island belonged to Sinhalese Buddhist only. Tamils officially become second class citizens. Tamil political parties and Tamilism separate state proclamation 1948 to 1972. British handed over power to majority Sinhalese without minority safeguard. E.G. Ponnambalam opposed and stick to 50-50 political power sharing ideals with Sinhalese. 1949, S.J.V. Selvanayagam formed Federal Party as a breakaway from Old Lone Tamil Congress by hoping to acquire federal solution for Tamils from Sinhalese government. The federal party was known as Ilangai Tamil as Kachi and advocate federal solution for Sloan ethnic division and the centralized government in Sloan. FP gained more support among Ilan Tamils rather than Tamil Congress. However, the Sinhalese gradually increased dominant and discrimination against Tamils, all Sinhalese parties denounce federalism. Sinhalese passed a notion in parliament as singular as an official language in 1958. The Federal Party protested and fought peacefully for Tamil language representation as official language and for re and won three language implementation. English pushed for forceful colonization of Tamil lands in Eastern Province. The Federal Party fought peacefully through demonstration and hunger strike, met with heavy handed armed forces brutality by Singhalese government. Singhalese continued systematic positive discrimination against Tamils in education, 
by introducing standardization. Furthermore, single is denounced opportunity for Tamil's employment and economic development in the Ilam region. Tamil politicians failed to acquire their federal solution of 50-50. In fact, they foolishly missed an opportunity to grasp federal solution before the British left the country. In 1970, Tamil Student Federation, ESF, was formed by Ponutre Satyasilan, militant to join ESF and planning to launch violent premature sabotage activities against Sinhalese government institutions. His militant activities pressurized Tamil politicians to act responsibly. 1972, Sinhalese government amended the constitution and declared the country as Republic of Sri Lanka. Tamils were made a second-class citizen in the country. The Sinhalese Act fueled the rise of Tamil nationalism in England. Tamils rejected the amended constitution. In 1972, the Old Tamil Congress Party and the Tamil Federal Party merged and formed the Tamil United Front, which was later evolved as Tamil United Liberation Front. Tamil United Front announced separate state Tamil Ilam was the only solution for Tamils in the island as Tamils have the rights for self-determination. Tamil United Front argued that successive Sinhalese government failed to respect Tamil's reasonable demand for federalism within the unified island. After declaration of Tamil Ilam as separate state, Tamil youth became increasingly militant as individual or as groups engage unplanned Sporadic attacks against government infrastructure. This was met by strong police brutality, arrest, and torture by the Sinhalese government. Tamil youths were arrested indiscriminately, tortured, and imprisoned without trials by violating human rights. Thank you very much.